On this Gamer Tech Review, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Kratos S5 2.1 speaker system from Sound Blaster Pro Gaming. We'll check it out right after this. This is the Kratos S5 2.1 speaker system with RGB lighting. If you couldn't tell, it's specifically marketed towards gamers. The look of the system is very impressive, but it's not just the looks that make the speaker system so special. There are countless visual and sound customization options to allow this system to fit all of your media needs. The Kratos S5 comes with two satellite speakers, both housing 4-inch satellite drivers, and a subwoofer with a 6.5-inch driver housed in a wooden enclosure. This allows for some really nice deep bass and rumble while playing games or watching movies. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at what all comes with this robust gaming sound system. Here's a closer look at the Kratos S5 speaker system. You get your two desk speakers, subwoofer, and control dial that turns the system off and on, adjusts the volume, and has two 3.5mm headphone jacks so that you can connect a gaming headset or an external microphone to it. You also get a small instruction booklet along with a warranty card and a few other various instructional papers. You get your standard power cord and you get a USB to micro USB cord that plugs into your PC and goes into the back of the subwoofer. Both the subwoofer and desk speakers have some decent weight to them and feel like they were made of some very high quality materials. The satellite speakers are actually a little bit bigger than I initially thought and measure in at 8 inches tall by 4 inches wide and 4 inches deep. The subwoofer comes in at 12 inches tall by 9 inches wide and 10 inches deep. I put this can next to the speakers just to give you guys a little bit of a size comparison. All in all this feels like a very high quality product especially for the price that I paid. At the time I purchased a speaker system for about $125 US on Amazon.com. However when I checked again while making this video I noticed that the price had gone down by about $10 which makes this an even better deal and adds another point to the list of positives. I'll leave a link in the description down below in case any of you guys are interested in purchasing this system. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the system so we can see the connections on the back of each of the satellite speakers and the subwoofer. Here's a closer look at the control dial and you can see it is permanently connected to the back of the subwoofer. It also has a soft grip texture on the bottom of it so that it won't slip around or scratch up your desk. There's also a separate dial for the bass volume that will help you fine tune the overall sound of this speaker system. Each of the speakers comes with their own connecting wires that are also permanently connected to the speakers themselves and plugged directly into the back of the subwoofer. The power cable and USB cables are pretty self-explanatory and also plug easily into the back of the sub. Finally, there are some RCA audio connectors on the back of the sub in case you need them, but this system does not come with any of the connecting cables for them. Now it's time for probably the most important part of any speaker review, and that is, of course, the sound test. So I went ahead and set up some music and played it off of my monitor speakers first so that I would have something to compare the sound quality of the Kratos S5 system to. <laughs> I set up the same song again, but this time I played it through the Kratos S5 system. And of course, you can't do a review of gaming speakers without also sampling some gameplay.
Now let's go ahead and take a look at the software that's used to customize the Kratos S5 sound system. Alright guys, here's the program that came with the Kratos S5 uh, speaker system. It's called Sound Blaster Connect and it's actually a very cool program and it's very easy to use. Uh, there are a ton of customization options for these speakers, not just in the way they look but in the way they sound. So this is basically when you fire it up, this is what it looks like and they have a bunch of preset options over here. So if you didn't want to go in and adjust the sound and colors and all that stuff and you wanted to just pick some of these presets, you could go ahead and do that. So if you're just going to use it for gaming, this is already optimized for, you know, just kind of gaming in general, uh, watching movies, listening to music, just kind of a neutral sound if you're going to be doing a combination of all those things. And then the cool thing, and this is one of those specific things that really makes it stand out as uh, speakers for gamers. They have presets for specific games over here. So popular shooters like Battlefield 1, Call of Duty, Counter-Strike, uh, and Overwatch. I might actually check that one out because they do play a lot of Overwatch with, uh, with the uh, NGN crew. But yeah, so this is just kind of an overview and they just kind of show you what they have going on here just different things that you can you can customize and change all of this stuff you can go in here to sound and this is actually the EQ board right here I kind of wish they had like actual sliders for these things but instead they have like this kind of little graph thing that they got going on here but um, I will warn you it is a little sensitive so um, the way I had it EQ in the beginning um, the voices were getting a little distorted uh, there was a little bit of hissing or something at the end of, of the voices. So actually what you could do too is if you don't feel like messing with all this stuff but you want to have a little bit more customization, you can go in here and they give you even more options right here to choose from. Now I chose acoustic because actually it sounded really good. It made voices sound good, it made music sound good, and I watch a lot of YouTube videos and I like to listen to a morning show uh, in uh, the first part of my day when I'm getting ready for work. So this made voices sound good and music sound good with a decent amount of bass to it as well. So it just sounded real clean. I liked it. And uh, I mean, there's different stuff that you can choose. Uh, I mean, just a lot of different options that you can play with if you feel like it. I like the way it sounds now, so I don't really want to mess it up too much. Uh, here, this does come with a microphone. I need to let you know right now that this this system comes with a built-in microphone and it's attached to this thing uh, the uh, little control knob here it sits on well, I have it sitting on my desk and you know you're gonna place it wherever it fits best for you uh, so you do need to be warned there is a microphone and I do not know how to turn it off so what I read in the instruction manual is if you plug in a headphone or, or um, a microphone or gaming headset into there's two of them I think one is for uh, like this an external microphone and one is for like a gaming headset plug it into the gaming headset and with that microphone that is part of the headset will automatically mute the mic that is built into this thing so that's the only way that I found it was kind of a headache uh, the first time I start, I sat down to record this I realized there was a crazy echo going on and I couldn't figure out what it was and I went into my settings to look and see what microphones were on and lo and behold this thing actually has a microphone built into it. I didn't know that. So it could be good for you if you don't have a mic. It could be good. You can use this as a microphone and just kind of place this behind your speakers. You know, like this. Will, I have this on the floor. Uh, I have these two on my desk next to my monitor, but there's a little bit of a gap. So this, could fit, this fits right in between my monitor and my speaker, which you guys will see in just a minute. Uh, yeah, like you could use it for Skype calls, things like that. I guess you could use it for gaming chat if you want, but uh, it doesn't sound great. The microphone is not that good, and I'm not I'm not even going to bother testing it out here, but I do, am letting you know there is one there. So if you don't have a gaming headset that plugs in the headphone jack, this might not be the thing for you because, again, I have not figured out how to mute it or turn it off because everything I tried in the settings, everything I tried in here, didn't turn it off. It still, it was still on. So uh, I'm not sure. That might take a little bit more research. But though, something kind of cool that it comes with 
and again I'm using I right now I'm using my Corsair headset and microphone so it and all this stuff works with it so all the little settings that it has as far as like clear DC noise reduction acoustic echo like those things actually work with my microphone that's plugged in through the speaker set so that's actually really cool I like that but another cool thing it does is that it changes your voice you can use these settings right here to change your voice in the different things uh I mean I can't really see like too much of a I mean I guess maybe it could be funny for videos and things like that um, and then you just put it back to neutral and, and I think your voice goes back to its normal sound. So anyways, I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and then last but not least, we have all the lighting options here for your speaker system. Obviously these light up. These are the only things right here, these light bars. Um, that are going to be adjusted. Unfortunately, this red LED just stays red. Uh, I think that's kind of a misstep there. I think it could have easily just been white or something. Um, but if you have a red setup, it won't bother you. And to be honest with you, it's not that big of a deal. Like, I thought I was going to hate it, but I don't. I also thought I was going to hate these red X's, these bright red X's on the speakers. But they actually add kind of a cool, unique look to them that really makes it, gives it that gamer feel. So, uh, I, yeah, I don't mind it, but... Here's a lot of the presets options, and the cool thing is, is you can choose all these options, and you don't have to stick with the way they look. So in this case, Wave Rainbow, uh, or even Wave Ice Blue, we can add whatever color we want to add. We can make it whatever color we want it to be. Yeah, like in this case, I can make this color whatever I want. Opacity really just makes it darker, bright. Like it's if the intensity and saturation of the uh, the color. But yeah, I can make them all blue if I want. If that's how you want it. Make it this aqua color. You know, just go straight red. A lot of people like the red lighting, and it and they are nice and bright. And I will show you guys in just a minute. I'll give you examples of what it looks like. Um, as they change and just give you my final thoughts on this but you can definitely change whatever like basically whatever you want to and then the cool thing is too is actually these there's four you'll see that this is split up into eight you know eight little sections that represents each speaker so each speaker has four sections on it so this would be the left speaker and this would be the right speaker so these colors are what's showing up on my left speaker, on this one right here. And these colors are the ones that are showing up on my right speaker, which would be this one right here. Obviously, this is just a picture. It's not, it doesn't change on here. Uh, but it does change on your speakers in real time. So, personally, I mean, I think this is, like, it's it looks amazing. I, I love it. As far as visually... These speakers are amazing. The sound quality is really good. I'll give you my final thoughts on it. I, but all in all, as far as what they look like, the customization options, uh, the presets for sound and uh, gaming and everything else, I mean, I, I honestly think that these speakers can fit any type of setup. And they look so good. And so far, the sound quality has been pretty decent. I like them. I do like them. I am going to keep them. I am very satisfied with them. Um, but I, I think any gamer is going to be excited to have these. And it's going to just add another really awesome element to your setup. And you can customize them however you want. So anyways, that's just a quick look at the program that comes with the Kratos S5. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to just let you guys know. Because on some of the other reviews, they didn't show the fact that you can go through the whole color spectrum and customize it to whatever you want. So that's why I wanted to do that and just show you guys that there are just a ton of different, not only presets and lighting effects, but also you can choose basically whatever you want for your specific setup and 
there's just basically all the combinations are pretty much limitless in here so anyways we're gonna go ahead and take a look at how some of these effects look on the speakers and I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on the Kratos S5 2.1 speaker system all right guys go ahead and take a look at some of these lighting effects for the speaker system uh, and I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts on this product and give a little bit of a list of pros and cons. And I think I'm going to start off with the cons first because I believe that the pros outweigh the cons in this particular sound system. The negatives or some of the drawbacks to the system is that I feel like the EQ should be uh, sliders rather than the little graph that they give you. Some of the customization options, they go away during sleep mode, and that's kind of like my biggest problem with this, is even though the program is easy to use, it sometimes can be a little touchy when you set things and your computer goes into sleep mode, or you restart your computer, or just try to fire up the program again in general. It sometimes will, you have to restart it a couple times to make sure that your settings come back. And then in a couple cases, uh, just in the beginning, the program kind of actually got rid of some of my presets too. So you do have to be a little bit aware of that. But once you actually get the program to work properly, it's actually not that big of a deal to just kind of open up the task menu and close the program and then reopen it again. You know, everything is there and working properly. So... Uh, that wasn't as big of a deal, but that is one of the major drawbacks of this uh, speaker system. There is no music mode. One of the things that I wish that the speaker system would have, and I don't understand why this one wouldn't, because that's one of the major settings or major uh, lighting effects to just about every RGB setup, is that you can sync it with your music. And this being a 2.1 speaker system, I don't know why they wouldn't have that effect somewhere in the presets to have it either flashing multiple colors or at least flashing one solid color to either the music or to the gaming sound effects. So that is another kind of misstep I think there. And then I think just kind of the bright red LED and the bright red X's on the actual speakers themselves. Again, they weren't a, a deal breaker for me by any means, but it could turn some people off, especially if it kind of clashes with your setup. But my setup is very opposite of that. I don't have really any red going on, but I could. I could change everything to red if I wanted to. But it, it's really not that big of a deal. But I think they could have gone with something a little bit more neutral uh, instead of a bright red LED and these bright red X's on the outside of the speakers. And uh, I did have one issue, I will say, one major issue where it was right as I started um, using these speakers. It was the very first day and for whatever reason I had some uh, music going in a playlist and it got about, I don't know, maybe nine or ten songs into the playlist and then all of a sudden the sound on the speakers just went kind of crazy. Everything was really super distorted, and I thought maybe it was the song that I was listening to, and then I tried changing it to another song, and that one still sounded the same, just distorted and just really weird, and then I opened up a YouTube video to check and see if that was it, and again, it was still sounding very distorted, very um, just real weird, like real weird sounding, and uh, it, it obviously wasn't right, so I closed out all my programs and restarted my PC and once I did that everything was fine and I have not had that problem since and I've been using these speakers non-stop probably for the last uh, week and a half I think so it really hasn't been that big of a deal but it was something to be aware of and I just wanted to let you guys know that but other than that that's pretty much all of my complaints that I would have for this speaker system and most of them are just kind of nitpicking but honestly I highly recommend the Kratos S5 2.1 gaming speaker system to you guys uh, as far as the pros go, the speakers themselves, they look amazing. It's made of really high quality material. There's awesome lighting customization options for you. So it's going to look good in whatever setup that you have. Uh, and it's just going to take your the look of your setup to the next level. And the program is super easy to use. It actually does have a lot of really great presets for both audio and visual stuff. It's going to fit every need that you may have for your sound setup or your computer setup to play games, listen to music, watch movies, anything like that. It can do it all. 
and the sound quality overall is really really good it's really high quality and especially for the price guys the price they come in at 115 dollars us you really can't beat that price especially for everything that you get and as great as the sound quality is and all these awesome customization options i really can't recommend it enough the one thing I will say though, if you are looking for something, say you're a PC gamer and you're trying to figure out do you want speakers or do you want headphones, I would definitely suggest going with headphones first. A good set of quality gamer head, uh, gamer headset, gamer headphones to play your games and you know chat and whatever else. But if you're looking for something that where you just kind of you don't want to be stuck in headphones and you want to listen to music and kind of be mobile or you know watch videos and kind of have that nice rumble and deep bass i definitely recommend these speakers to you guys because i think it really is pretty much a great system for gamers and for anybody that likes watching any type of media uh, on their pc at all so anyways that is it guys i thank you so much for checking out this nerdgasm needs gamer tech review as always if you have any questions hit us up in the comment section let us know and we will definitely do our best to get back to you as quickly as we can and uh, again i left a link to the kratos s5 speaker system where i bought it off amazon it's in the description and also if you guys need the program uh the drivers for this um system it's also in the description as well but please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all our videos and until next time guys this is your boy makeshift mantis saying have a good one and i'm out peace